Hey, what's going on everyone? And uh, in this video, we are going to set up uh, Firebase authentication and we're going to add it into our uh, Android application. So let's go Let's go back into Firebase and uh, let's head over to firebase.google.com and click on Get Started. At this point, we see all the projects that we have. I'm going to click on my user registration project. And then I want to click on authentication. Next, I'm going to click on set up sign in method. And notice here that we have different options for the sign in of user into our application. But for this, uh, for this video, we're going to use email password authentication. So I'm going to click on this icon and I'm going to enable uh, email and password and I'm not going to use the email link uh, signing method so I'm going to click save and notice now that it says enable so I'm going to click on the users tab and I'm going to add a user just for testing purposes and I'm going to call my user uh, John Doe at gmail.com and for the password I'm going to give it a password of one two three and add user all right so after i set up my test user account and i have authentication already enabled i'm going to go back into android studio and i'm going to click on tools and then firebase and then i want to click on authentication and email and password authentication notice that um, the first step which is connect your app into Firebase. Uh, we covered that into uh, into the previous video in which we set up um, Firebase uh, with our Android application. And uh, the second step is to add Firebase authentication uh, to your app. So if you haven't done this, click on the link. And basically, what it's going to do is going to add um, it's going to add Firebase authentication dependency into your app Gradle. Okay, uh, so the next step is to create an instance of the Firebase authentication. So I'm going to click um, on this line of code and I'm going to uh, control C at the top of my activity. I'm going to paste the declaration of the Firebase authentication. So moving on to the next step, I'm going to create an instance of my Firebase authentication, control C. And this one I'm going to copy inside the onCreate method at the end of all the um, view references. And uh, the next step is to um, check whether the uh, the user uh, has valid credentials. So I need to get the sign in existing user code. So I'm going to Control C to copy it. So before implementing this code, I want to um, implement an own uh, click listener for the button. So I'm going to say login button. And I'm going to paste the code here. Okay. So um, another thing that, uh, so basically this code, what it's doing is um, calling the sign in with email and password on the, uh, on the reference, on the instance of the reference uh, of the Firebase authentication. And it's going to pass email and password. And so if the task was successful, then we are going to uh, get the user reference and update the UI, which means that we're going to allow the user uh, access to the app and if the authentication was not successful then we are going to display a message to the user um, another thing that we need to implement here inside the on click uh, method is that we need to get the email and password so i'm going to say string email equals to email edit text, get text to string. And uh, we need to do the same thing for password.
And so now we need to do some input validation. So text utils that is empty email or text utils is empty password. In that case, uh, what we want to do, we want to display a message to the user. And um, we're going to say um, enter email and password. And finally, we're going to say toast. And show. Okay, so if we got that error, then we're going to return um, and exit the method because we don't need to proceed into this section. Uh, we need to next implement the update UI method. And we need to change this to main activity. Okay, so down here we are going to implement the public void of the UI. And this is going to take a Firebase user Okay, so here what I'm going to do, I'm going to redirect the user into uh, our application. So I'm going to create an intent. I'm going to say profile intent equals new intent. And um, I'm going to call the profile activity that class. And uh, I want to uh, put extra uh, send extra information into the profile activity and that will be the current user get email information okay so next i'm going to start activity profile act profile intent and um, there is another method here that we need to implement, which is the onStar method and onResume method. Um, the onStar method is this one here. We can get it from here. And I'm going to call it and place it uh, outside the onCreate method. Uh, it's checking for the uh, current authenticated user, uh, but we need to say if current user not equals null, then we update the UI. Okay. And uh, I believe that's it. So let's go ahead and run the application. All right. So the app is running. Uh, so let's go ahead and enter the credentials. That will be John Doe at Gmail dot com and password and let's click login and we're in and so that's it guys that's it for this video i hope you guys um enjoy the video as always remember to subscribe leave a comment and i'll see you in the next video